Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial for 1.14.2 Bedrock Edition. Um, this is my first ever video I've made on this channel, besides from the first ever Minecraft video I've made. Um, today we'll be looking at this zero tip shoe cane farm. Um, it's super survival friendly, easy to make, cheap resources, and it gets you, uh, let's turn it on for now. So what happens is, see all of this, so the shoe came, we, use, we trick the game by using water like the spider first and pushing it continuously back and forth to the water, which tricks the game to put in like the shoe came with the grind and stuff. And the heat observers here, they detect this bit of the ground and some signal to the which how it spreads from us, and the is how it just pushes it up. So then we say infinite loop, this could be here to the loop, and it just pushes it up so it doesn't do that. Um, it's very easy to make, as you can see, we have pistons, pulleys, and other things like that. Um, observers, yeah, I guess, but we only need two. Uh, some hoppers, you know, very cheap and easy to make, and look how much it's got enough of time that we've done it. Just how much it works in. So if you have like a village trading thing set, up, so like you have villages, librarian villages, um, it's going to be super easy to get enemies, um, because you can just literally craft these strange paper, um, and then trade all of those enemies so if you have a large amount of villages, like I do in my spell world, you rack up enemies quite easily. And it's just so easy to make. The flick of a lever you can turn it off and just say like this. And that's how much, since the intro, that's how much sugar can be made in that time. Now, the materials you'll need for this is 16 dirt to place your sugar on, 16 glass panes, 2 hoppers, 2 chests, or any amount of chests as long as you want storage. Um, if you want extra storage, though, you're going to have to need more hoppers to run it through to those chests. Um, two water buckets or an infinite water source nearby with a bucket because you're going to do a, no a lot of water um, water logging blocks and stuff. Two observers, 25 redstone dust, two blocks roughly, two stacks of blocks roughly, not an exact measurement. Um, cobblestone would be the easiest, cheapest solution if you're um, early game. Uh, 18 slabs, still could be cobblestone, easiest. 16 stairs of your choice, a lever, and you'll need 16 sugar cane to start this off with. Sugar cane is fairly easy to farm, so shouldn't be too hard. Uh, two buttons of your choice, 22 pistons, five redstone torches, and two sand blocks. So this is very easy, cheap resources that you need. So, all right, let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to start off with our chests, our hoppers, and we're going to grab some blocks out, and then we'll start building it all over here. Okay, so place down your chests, then you've got to place down your hoppers, and then go three blocks out in each direction. Like so, and then what you want to do is you want to grab your water. I'll just use one for now because I only need one. And then you come out block like this, and then you put a full case around it, so like you close it off so that because we're going to be putting water in here, like that. And then we're going to put water, water, and that creates a source. Oh, well, not sorry, not source. It creates a flowing thing there. And then we're going to get our buttons here and place them in the center, like so. We just get rid of them, and we don't need them, them, okay, there's that part done. Next, uh, let me just look at my notes, we're going to need more blocks, and then it goes three wall here, and then three here, so just three upper top, three like this, another layer of three here, but on each end add another block, so you've got this kind of like T formation right there. Do that again on the other side, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five. So there's that system done. So that's quite simple. And then what you do is you need to grab your dirt. And just place that all on here. Easy. So this is where your sugar pen is going to be sitting. Alright, we'll just get rid of this. And then next we're going to need our redstone torches, pistons, redstone dust, sugar cane, glass panes. Ooh, yep, okay. Now what you want to go and do with these is you want to place redstone torches on each of these little outcrop bits here on the tips. So place them just like this, four of them, yep. And then you want to place your pistons just above them. So on that block that the redstone torch is on, place it above it, facing this way, inwards. Do that on all four. There we go. Now we're going to place the next redstone here, here, and here. Like, just like that, in you know, like a triangle type pattern on each side. Oops. Then once that's done, I'm going to grab some blocks. Okay, and then it's there and there. There and there. And then we're going to grab some blocks and place blocks all here between the redstone torches just like so easy peasy now uh, next step is to put our input so this is the easy part so whatever way you want this face so if you want it to this to be the front put your input with the left or right so the input is literally directly under this block here this middle block so directly under it place a block on the ground so that's one look at and place your final redstone torch. That should activate these pistons here. For that, and then we don't need our redstone torches anymore. And then what we're going to do is we need to grab our slabs. Uh, one way. We need to grab our slabs and stairs. Oh, we need the stairs now. And we need to grab our lever actually. So our lever goes here. So this is what turns it on and off. So if you flick it on, it will deactivate the spreadstone. Now we haven't got the smart pistons up there, so it won't work. Now we're going to need some locks on the face of this, like so. So when this retracts, it gets powered and it powers the redstone, which powers the block and powers the piston and pushes back forward. And we're going to want slabs all the way up to this point. So stop there. And then on the faces of these pistons, solid blocks so that it gets the power. Currently right now it's not doing that. It is being powered, but it cannot push because of the 12 block piston, the 12 block piston limit. So it's currently more than that. So when this gets unpowered, that will be able to push forward and it just does it continuously. It's quite easy. Alright, then it is a simple case of putting blocks around the outside. So where these pistons push forward, I'm going to go like this, and case it like this, and put it up to this point. So you've got this type of stuff. So where the pistons are pushed forward, make it a straight line, and go all the way down. And then where the pistons are attract, make it kind of with a corner gap there. So we'll do the same on this side, like that. And push it all the way down. And so it has that. So you get that pattern right there. That should be quite easy and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our water bucket now this is going to be a little bit tricky in survival because you're going to need to keep refilling the water bucket so that's why i suggest having a water source like right nearby maybe even just do like something like this just like put a little outcrop like that just so easy access to water right now because this is a bit of a pain in the butt so you could perhaps even just do that right next to it Put an input resource and then just have like your bucket, let's say, and just like fill, 
theory, you know, because you're going to have to waterlog all of these slabs all the way down here. And then we're going to have to raise the walls up here. One more. And make sure that when the pistons are rich, um, aren't being pushed right now, make sure to put a block over the top. So when it does get pushed, it is exactly the same as the other side. It's just like that. And that should be easy. And then what we need to do is we need to get rid of some blocks and stuff. We need to get rid of that. And we need to grab our stairs. So this is quite another tedious pass. So you need to place the stairs like this, facing this way. So that the, the back of it, so like this part, is facing the blocks. And then I'm going to place them all on each side. Like that. And then we're going to have to refill our water buckets and water slab all of these. Just fill it up and just continue filling all of this up. Water slab every single one. Just like so. Now we can get rid of this. That's just to make it easier to get water. And then we don't need our water anymore. Now you can go ahead and place your sugar cane. Just like so. And then on the bit where the, uh, the pistons are facing outwards, uh, I'm going to just go right here. We're going to need, we can probably get rid of one second. We're going to need our observers and our sand. So with your observers, where this block is right here, this block here right next to the piston, place it above that block. So in line with the shoe can here. So when that grows up, it'll be push, um, pushed just like so. Easy. And then, ooh, yep, just like so. Okay, then we're going to need to put the last two pistons like this. So just like so. Where the pistons are pushed on this side, which will be on the side with your lever, with your input, place them on top of the redstone facing upwards. Then place your two sand on top. And then we can actually get rid of this because we've used all of this. Easy. Oh, and we can also get rid of our shoe can. That's what we use. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to grab some blocks. Oh, actually, what we should do, I totally forgot, whoops. We do still need our pistons, because we still have some left over. Sorry, my fault. Okay, on top of the stairs here, we need to place pistons, just like so. Just on the second bit of the shoe can. Easy. Ooh. Facing the shoe can, so when it grows, we get pushed down the middle and into those hoppers. So that's done. Now we don't need our piston. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a block above this piston, just right next to this, like that. Exact same on the other side. Grab the redstone. Move it across towards it. So just cover the whole line of pistons. So just like that, right next to the sand. Just cover all with, um, so this will get powered. Then it will power all of these pistons, pushing through can. Do the exact same on the other side. And then that should be easy. Now what we need to do is we need to put our glass pane. Now this stops the shoe cane from... This stops the shoe cane from launching. So when it gets pushed by the piston, it doesn't get trapped over on the side, like here it get pushed and it land on this side. This prevents that, so it gets pushed, it lands here and falls down this little bit here. And then you place all these in. And then blocks right next to it. So just three three there, like that. And then on the other side just one in between the observers. That is completely seals it off. Now this is optional. If you do have a quantity of sand you can either get some glass 
like so and seal it off up top if you want it to, if you want to be able to look in wherever you're building this or you can just use basic blocks oops that was fine or you can just use blocks regular blocks like this it doesn't affect the rates of it or in any possible way I personally like to use glass just so I can see in especially through the tutorial what's going on so we'll get rid of that definitely doesn't have to be glass if you don't have any sand to be smelted or if you don't want to waste that for your glass definitely use uh, just regular blocks so now we can actually get rid of that get rid of that and this is basically uh, done I think uh, let me just check my notes again is there anything in there? yep I think that's basically done so that's how to build zero tick sugarcane farm quick, quick simple and easy uh, material resistive so it works exactly the same so when the sugarcane falls it doesn't get dropped okay let's give this a test we turn it on yep there we go as you can see the sugarcane is being grown and it's just the same um the sugarcane gets grown easy oh and it's very survival friendly easy to make as you can see from that video very cheap resources barely need anything um yeah and it works just the same and especially on servers as well if you want to do this on like a server like a realm or something for better option this is lag free so it doesn't cause any lag because it's very simple and easy to make and if you render it out exactly right here if I run right here it doesn't it doesn't break if you unload the chunks if I move all the way over here yep definitely unloaded so I've left that running while the chunks have been unloaded let's head back and this will as long as it well it's not producing right now but once the chunks get loaded again it will start working again but it won't be broken yeah there we go it's fine so this doesn't break when the chunks are unloaded no lag no nothing See? so that just keeps repetitively going back and forth and pushing those uh, slabs that were there and it's, those are what's watering the dirt blocks here the game, which makes it a grow I don't know the exact basics but I don't know the exact way it works but it's pretty cheap and easy to make and very very efficient as you can see from that amount see so how much that is so that just about wraps it up Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this uh, Minecraft tutorial. If you'd like to see more stuff about this, uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for when the videos come out. Um, my goal is going to be for 10 likes since it's my first Minecraft video. Um, if I get that, I might make some more videos, you know, try and actually make like a tutorial section, maybe do a let's play. If anyone would be interested in that, uh, please let me know down in the comments, that would be um, very, very helpful to me. Um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, I think wraps it up. Thank you for watching.